In the heart of a sun-dappled forest lived three young animal friends. Pip, a playful squirrel with a bushy tail. Luna, a graceful deer with shimmering fur. And Finn, a curious hedgehog with a prickly coat. They were the best of friends, spending their days chasing butterflies, playing hide-and-seek amongst the trees, and sharing juicy berries. One bright morning, while exploring a new part of the forest, they stumbled upon a clearing. In the center sat a lonely figure unlike any they'd seen before. It was a brightly colored parrot with vibrant feathers, perched on a low branch. He looked lost and confused, his eyes filled with longing. Hello, who are you? I... I'm Rio. I got separated from my flock during a storm. Don't worry, Rio. We'll help you find your way back. Maybe you can stay with us until then. Rio's eyes lit up. He had never seen animals so different from himself, but their kindness warmed his heart. He readily agreed, and soon the four unlikely friends were inseparable. Pip taught Rio how to climb the tallest trees. Luna showed him the hidden streams for the sweetest water. And Finn, surprisingly, enjoyed Rio's colorful stories from faraway lands. They played hide-and-seek with Luna's graceful leaps, tagged with Pip's acrobatic leaps, and even invented a new game where Rio flew overhead, narrating their adventures. Days turned into weeks, and despite their differences, the four friends grew closer. They learned from each other, appreciating the unique skills and perspectives each brought. Rio, once lost and alone, found a new family in the most unexpected place. One day, a familiar cry echoed through the trees. It was Rio's flock, searching for their lost friend. With a bittersweet farewell, Rio rejoined his kind, but the bond he shared with his forest friends remained strong. From that day on, the forest echoed with the laughter of four friends, a testament to the beauty of diversity. They learned that true friendship knows no bounds, and the most vibrant experiences come from embracing those different from ourselves. Hey, little dreamers, did you enjoy tonight's bedtime adventure? If you want more magical tales and exciting adventures, don't forget to hit that subscribe button.